Services Information Requests. And as you can see, we have uh, canceled a few and blah, 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 but these are the ones that were pending and have subsequently received. We received the Police Chiefs Association study, I guess, NH COP wage study, I guess they're called NH COP, I don't know why, but whatever. Um, you all got that, right? So can we consider that satisfied? That request having been satisfied? Yes? Yes. Thank you. The uh, detailed hardware support maintenance, I just discovered, you know, I, I believe it or not, I turned my computer off from time to time. I got an email from Rich Sawyer, uh, a little after 3.30 today. Um, and so I did receive something I haven't distributed yet. I haven't had a chance to look at it. Since that was actually my request, I haven't really validated whether it's uh, responsive or not. So I'll just label it as not yet processed. And we'll move on. Uh, outside agency detail report we got from uh, Christy, right? And is that satisfied? I think so. Yeah. Brian, I believe you were the primary motivator on that request. Yeah, I'm in the, <clears throat> in the process of reviewing it, but it uh, we got the information. Yeah. Should I consider it satisfied, or you want it to continue to be well, processed? Input satisfied. If you want, I don't know how much okay. more we're going to get. Okay, pay difference between the previous and current SPOC rec department hands I haven't received yet, still pending. And the default budget uh, is still pending. Uh, I did have a conversation with uh, Jamie and Christy um, two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. Sunday? Sometime You're recently. I've <laughs> <laughs> been so busy dealing with all these things going around that uh, I kind of lost track of time here. But anyway, very recently I talked to Christy and Jamie in, in Christy's office, and uh, I was assured primarily by Jamie that they are working expeditiously on producing the default budget and uh, that I should expect it um, probably in, I guess, the first week in December is when they're expecting to bring it to the Board of Selectmen. But that is not a certainty. It's merely a probability <coughs> of expectation. So uh, that still is pending. Are there any other additional information requests that you would like to add to this list? I'd like to ask a question. Mr. Moore. The request that I had, you might have it on the MIRA, which I don't get. The, the request I had about the association wages. Yeah. And, and last week we talked, well, the HMA isn't it. We talked right. that. So they would say, well, we'll still be holding and get and going to get the hopefully the right information. Have we got that? Which one again? When the we outside agency? The outside agency. No, well, I mean, both the police and the fire department. Mm -hmm. The request was that we could compare the structure and the salary ranges between towns. Are we above average? Are we below average? Where are we? So we can make some sort of careful analysis on making sure, number one, teachers, policemen, mm -hmm. firemen are properly paid, and then we, we could, could make another thing as other things come up, how much monies we do have and do not have to do things. Well, what we have and right now, David, is uh, on this list, and the comp uh, compensation uh, study or excuse me, the comparison study, uh, we had previously canceled that request. Uh, it was initially responded to with an NHMA wage comparison study, Correct. which we as a committee decided was uh, an in inadequate source of information Correct. by their own admission. And so we canceled the request for both fire and police from that source. And uh, everything we've requested, I believe, is on this list. So, so my question is still, where, where is it up there? It isn't up there, is what I'm trying to say. But you just said you just did it. We've got everything we've received, so I thought I heard. Everything on this list is everything that I understand we've requested. I posted to this every meeting, you know, in terms of what the li whether the list is accurate and so forth. And uh, it's not on this list. What am I not getting, Brian? And I think the answer the chairman is trying to give is that we got the list. We didn't like it, yeah. but I'm not so sure we're going to get any more. That is the list I requested. Well, no, I understand that. But remember we talked about municipal resources, which is a totally separate thing. Then the NHMA gave their, whatever you call it, their survey, which involved three or four towns, which Correct. you and I agree with. 
And when then I at, think the, at last week's meeting, you asked me, and then you got involved. Right. Did you get what we asked for? And my and, answer was no. And I, my answer still is no. But I think, as the chairman is alluding to, outside of somebody doing actual legwork, which somebody could do, I don't know who else is going to give us that information. The, the, Mr. The, Wal Burton is correct. That information is not readily available. Um, and I agree with you, by the way. But just we, 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 I suppose we could demand to, to have it produced. But it would be a considerable amount of work on, on somebody's part to do that. And I'm not sure that the committee wants to make such a demand. I do. But if you do, then, then we will make a motion and discuss it. It would have to be a committee decision. It has to be a committee decision yes. to be able to get people to respond to a no, reasonable no, no. request well, that was already made. And the we got question no of whether or not it's reasonable enough for us to make it. Um, the other requests were done by individual members, and that was fine because it was perceived that it would not require a lot of work on the part of the person we were requesting it from. What difference does it make how much I work just is it to needed, you. if it's a needed piece of information? Because if the information is readily available uh, from the person we're requesting it from, then there is no meaningful associated cost to its production. However, if we're going to impose uh, some meaningful cost to produce the information, then I believe that we're going to need a formal committee decision on it. I thought we had already agreed with that last week. And I also thought when you and I talked before this meeting, I was very clear in what I asked for, and you didn't, make, didn't give me that type of an answer, that we have to vote on it by committee. And now it looks like if they need to do work, of course they need to do work. We're here to do work. We're not getting paid to be here. But we need this information to try to understand. I don't care what it takes because amount of work. If you go to the school, like I said earlier, the schools don't like, for example, my son was working down in Massachusetts. They have a thing for all the teachers at every school, grades, ranges, how many years you teach, what you were teaching in high school, junior high. And it's all the standard procedure. It's a piece of, they keep it up. Now, you're not getting any individual person's amount of money. That's what I was asking for, just those ranges. And other people even said last week, if you were the chief, you darn well know what the exit is getting, you know, darn well what Portsmouth's getting. Yeah. That's my question. And I don't see the fact that if it takes a little bit of work, how else will, can we be, make a decision, analytical decision, to come to a right answer if we say, well, gee, that's going to take work to do that. Well, why are we even here? Regina. I don't understand what this is supposed to help with. Like, you can go to any town's annual report and find out what all their officers that you can compare to the Hampton if you want. I don't think that comparison exists, but some people do, then they can go. But I'll tell you right now, if you go to towns like Rye, Exeter, all right around here, Seacoast towns, go up to Laconia, it's, it's comparable. We had an MRI study done which was an independent resource that I guess the Budget Committee for some reason decided they didn't want to look at. I do. Well, why is it canceled? A, I don't know. No, it's not. It's satisfied. Oh, all right. So it's satisfied. So that didn't help you out at all? Now, hold, if I could, in, let me just explain, Regina, because you weren't at the last meeting. This request is not for union positions. The request that David Morrow and I were talking about were for non-union high-level positions, which are within each town and municipality. We have no control over contractual things. If a captain in Portsmouth is making so much, we understand that. But what Dave was trying to do was get a baseline for, especially those towns, which I found interesting, in the communities that were presented by, like you said, the NHMA. Right. I don't know where they got those towns. To David's comment, and I, and I agree with you. I'd support you. I just I think we just have to look at a time frame. I think we do need the information because it, it gives us a chance to validate whether we have the right thing going on or maybe like I said last week are people overpaid are they underpaid or what's going on with the salary structures there's a lot of talk in the state on all kinds of boards so I agree with what you're saying but I don't know do we want it done by January 1 do we want it done by I would think we'd have to have it done by January 1 in order to make an intelligent decision on the stuff we're looking at we're looking at whole stuff on the cost oh, I agree all with the Hamptons all of the expenses yep. Yep. I would all, think this all of these questions on this list uh, were acknowledged and, and put on there uh, because no one objected to asking for it as a committee. So it was basically a consensus uh, exercise of getting it on this yeah. list. Okay, If you want to put that particular request on this list, I will do so if there's no objection. Is there an objection? 
Are we going to take a vote on it? No, I just want to know if there's an objection to doing it. Yeah, I am. All right, there's an objection. So therefore, uh, I will not put it on here because there's no consensus. If you so want, if you want, let me vote? finish, please. If you want me to put it on there, I'll be happy to do so by a majority vote. Well, then I make the motion. So please specify your motion. To request the information I answered earlier in reference to the pay scales for surrounding towns, such as it could be other ones, Portsmouth, Exeter, Rye, Seacoast to see where we're salary comparisons. Are we above pay, below pay, a reference into it's, the request was particularly at the time of the police department and also the fire department. Portsmouth, Rye, Exeter. Yeah, the surrounding towns, they're around us in Northampton. Well, that we, want, we need to be specific when we make the request, so. I think Dover and Durham are extremely important in that request. Then add them to it, please. Okay. I Portsmouth, second his motion. All right. Portsmouth, Rye, Dover, Durham, Exeter. Exeter. Oh, you can add Seabrook in there. Seabrook. Northampton. Yeah. Northampton. All the surrounding. Greenland. Greenland. Portsmouth, yeah. I think it's important. You want to add Portsmouth? Oh, I think yeah. we need Portsmouth, yeah. And who's supposed to complete this study? Nine, nine municipalities you want comparative on, correct? Correct. Okay. And, and who are we requesting this of? Requesting it of? Yeah. We're requesting it from the heads of each of the departments, such as the police chief, for him to get that information compared to other things, because people talk and hear, well, we make more, we make less. I don't have any Police look department, at. you mean police and fire? Police department and the fire department, two okay. departments. Okay. Those are the two I, we're talking about. Is that your motion? Are we captured please. now? Please. Yes, okay. it is. And we have a second. Is there a discussion? Uh, <coughs> Mr. Frank. May, uh, in my opinion, strictly an opinion, I think that the information that's being requested is somewhat enormous in trying to gather, you know, because most of that stuff may or may not be posted. You've got information on salaries based, may include overtime pay, work duty pay, whatever. Okay, so I, I don't think you can really equate getting the proper information in a timely manner. It's very time consuming for someone to do that. That's all I'm saying. All right. Any other discussion? So, uh, and, uh, and just let me finish. Sure, sorry. Bit. I don't think it's going to add to anything here because I think, if, if I understand correctly, the police department, when hiring a new recruit, it's a comparable wage scale within the surrounding community. How do they? Well, then that's what I want to know. What are the comparable wage scales? David, 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 David. So, right. it, it, that's that's all. I'm okay. Not, I just think it's 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 a exercise in futility. Any further discussion, yeah. Mr. Ladd? I would add that in order to get a fair comparison, you'd have to drill down into the benefit packages of each community to get the total cost of a position, the number of hours work, the duties assigned, which could be comparable or different. It seems a fairly complex gathering of information that might require an enormous amount of effort. Thank you. Any other discussion? Yes. Mr. Moore. I find it hard to believe, because I worked in the living with insurance, we knew our salaries, all the benefits, they knew it for every person, for every range and all that. I'm surprised that the financial department, for example, if it is in the town of Hampton, that they wouldn't have the information of what it costs for the police department, for the benefits they have, for the vacations they take, for the regular salaries that they have, not getting to an individual, but the ranges. And also, when you get in with this, and you had things that were going on in the Massachusetts State Police, the people making a quarter of a million dollars because the captain was working $100,000 overtime, and stuff like that, crazy stuff. So how did the people get a hold of those numbers and whatever number? My point being, in reference to this, I find it hard to believe that we don't have what it costs for the average member of the people that we have here because we pay, we pay health benefits, we pay retirement benefits, whatever they are. We have the regular pay for overtime. That should be a standard thing that's carried on behind the scenes, I would interpret. I'm here right now, we don't, but yet how on the other hand, this gentleman across from me just said, well, the police department makes comparisons to other sick towns, which is what I thought I just asked for, but just said to me they had get comparisons, but they don't have the comparisons. I'm getting lost in this process. 
Could you explain that to me, please? Any other discussion? Does everyone understand the motion? Okay. All those in favor of the motion, please raise your hand. Mr. Warburton, Mr. Pluff, and Mr. Mora. All those opposed? Mr. Ladd. Ms. Barnes. Ms. Barnes. And Mr. Frank. And so the motion fails because it's time. Any other information requests? New information requests? Okay, so we're satisfied with this list as it exists now, correct? We've updated it accordingly. I don't know if I'd use the word satisfied, but I'm... I mean, as a committee... I'm, I'm able to say, as a committee, we have received the information. I don't think the statement we're satisfied with the information is, but I agree with you, in concept, right? Well, which one are you not satisfied with? I, well, I, don't, no, I, have I don't even know if we should use the word satisfied. The, the request came in that not necessarily we agree with everything in them. So oh, I right. No, no. I, satisfied means that it is, it is responsive to our request. That, that is to say, our request has been satisfied, right. not the contents of So it's useful. It doesn't necessarily mean it's right. <laughs> well, it's useful, but it may not be helpful. Yes. That's correct. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So we're done with uh, information yep. requests.